advanced Photoshop users not welcome. This tutorial is strictly for complete beginners without any Photoshop experience. As a follow up from the previous tutorial on face painting, I will show you how to create a cool body tattoo effect with Adobe Photoshop. This process is useful if you are planning to have a tattoo done and want to see the finished effect on a photo before you proceed with the real tattoo. In order to successfully complete this tutorial and get immediate results, please ignore all other tools on Photoshop and only focus on the ones necessary for this task. Ok, uh, just opened up Adobe Photoshop and uh, I'm showing you a, a tattoo effect that I previously made. Ok, this is... Marilyn Monroe. Okay, there you go. That's the tattoo effect that we want to do today. It's, it's a follow-up from my previous tutorial uh, which was on face painting. Okay, so let's close that up. Okay, and open up the file, the original file. So I'm going to open. Okay, um, on my desktop I've got a tattoo effect folder. I'm going to open that up. I'm going to press my left button and drag it over both files. Okay, and press open. Okay, so this is the tattoo. Uh, this is the the graphic that I would I'm going to superimpose as a tattoo on Marilyn, which is that one there. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is select all, edit, copy, go to the Marilyn picture, edit, paste. Okay, so we're <clears throat> you must have your layers window open as I explained before you go to window and make sure that the layers is um, on okay selected so we, what we're going to do now is on we have this layer selected and we're going to make it uh, the effect as multiply so uh, that's made it transparent and translucent okay and uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to fit it onto her arm. So we have to go to edit, free transform and you take the handles and you rotate it like that. Okay and there is a button up here which is um, for to maintain aspects ratio. Okay so if you press that it will keep it like the same ratio. Okay um, I'm using the uh, Adobe Photoshop CS5 and you'll find that most most of the um, Photoshop Adobe Photoshop programs have this uh, whoops what's happened there let's just put it like that for now most of them have this feature <clears throat> okay once you you're happy with the size you actually double click it okay so with your left mouse you double click it and and the picture stays the same size so um, I'm just going to distort it a little bit to make it look more natural so I'm going to go back again I have this layer selected I'll go back again to layer um, sorry edit transform but this time I'm going to select distort okay so I'm just going to push it up push it around a little bit with these handles to make it a little bit more natural Okay, like that. Okay, like this. Make it maybe that's it. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, now that now that I'm happy with that, I'm just going to double click it again. Okay, and I'm going to go a little bit um, zoom in with the uh, zoom tool, which is selected that one there. Okay, and. Uh, what I'll do now is I'm gonna the transparency. I'm just gonna I'm gonna come here on the layers and uh, make sure that the transparency is uh, about 70, 70, 80, 70, 80 to make it look a little bit more natural because the uh, colors are a little bit too uh, intense. Okay, and I will select the move tool up here and just move it down a little bit so that it doesn't overlap onto the background <clears throat> like that okay so that's looking pretty good if I go a little bit closer you'll see that it might look a little bit too sharp so if you want you can come up here to the filter 
and blur, Gaussian blur, and just I've got it at 1.4 pixels. That makes it look a little bit more natural. So I'm going to press OK, and there you go. Looks much more natural. So let's have a look now. There you go, Marilyn Monroe with a snake tattoo. Okay, I'm going to say File, Save As. Um, we're going to choose JPEG because we make make it into a photograph. Okay, a JPEG photograph. Dash. I'm going to put tattoo. Ta. Two. Save. Okay, <clears throat> so I've saved that. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found it useful, uh, a short little tutorial. Um, and uh, see you again soon. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, please leave your comments below and sign up for our newsletter.